Whiskey ways. Whiskey ways. Whiskey ways. Mm. Whiskey ways. Yeah. Whiskey ways. Oh. Whiskey ways. Mm. Whiskey ways. Mm. Whiskey ways. Whiskey ways. Hey, hey. Whiskey ways. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl Z. And this is Whiskey Ways. Y'all know how we do. We're tasting whiskeys. We're making cocktails today. Yay. You know what I'm saying? We might switch it up a little bit. Other episodes. Y'all know how we do. And this today, episode is cocktails. Right. I'm excited. Today, we are going to try. Chattanooga Whiskey Port Finish. I am excited about this one. Uh, I had, This is a be a fresh crack, but I've actually tried it at the tasting I did. Yes. So, I've had it before. I don't know how she keeps them and there's not cracking. <laughs> I don't know. I Y'all. try to focus on bottle kills because mm-hmm. I, I am accumulating more than I am Man. drinking. Mm-hmm. And I'm running out of space. Mm-hmm. So... That is how that happens. <laughs> a lot of fun stuff out there. Yes. That's for sure. This oh. comes in at 95 proof, yes. 27.5 ABV, and it is crafted from a combination of unique bourbon mash bills, each containing over 25% of specialty malt. There's a yes. lot of stuff on this bottle yes. that says that. If you want to look at the specific batches, you can go on Chattanooga Whiskey's uh, website to figure that out. Yes. Um, we stated before in a previous episode that they are a Tennessee high malt, just yes. so y'all know. So that's why there's so many specialty malts. Mm-hmm. Aged um, greater than three years. And what else? Mm-mm-mm. Well, it's a port, as uh, Nikki said, finished in tawny port. It's a tawny port, so it's good. Yes. I'm thinking it's going to be fruity on the fruitier side of things. We'll see. So we'll see. Like dark fruit, right? Tawny is dark fruit. Yeah, I believe so. All yeah. right. Let's so do this. So we're going to try it out. Yeah, it's like a black currenty on the nose. Are you looking at the legs? That what you I doing? was trying to see if there was any legs. Not really. The legs. Oh, well. A little bit. They're kind of short. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. short. I like the, the color, the copperness of the color. I do agree that there's like a black currant or maybe a blackberry on the nose. Uh, nose. It is sweet. I Definitely. get some, yeah, vanilla, a little caramel. And I actually get a little bit of the oak on the nose mm. on the very, very back end. <laughs> All right. Wow. I actually get like a bright fruit, like green apple on the, the uh, on my taste. Some caramel, a little honey. I definitely um, get the char. And not as fruity as I thought it would be. More of like a burnt caramel kind of deal going on. Maybe that comes with the char. I definitely get some oak on the back end. The finish is a good medium. It is sweet. It's oaky. It does get some vanilla, mm-hmm. and you get a nice little warmth, but it ain't like hot. No, just like a nice little warm feeling. Yeah, you definitely keep going for more. Yeah, trying to figure it out. It's uh, quite complex. It is. It's a it's a lot of notes. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been trying to expand our palette, but we ain't got all the notes. <laughs> Not yet. I keep like um. What is that? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Overall, it's a good pour. Yeah. Have y'all tried it? Mm-hmm. Let us know. Have y'all tried any of their experimental batches? What yes. are your favorite expressions? So far, we've tried this one and the 111. Oh, on the show. The show. <laughs> right. I've done a whole tasting at a <laughs> store, so I've tried other ones. Mm-hmm. Sure, Z has had other ones. <laughs> 
you have my favorite. All right. <laughs> what is your favorite? Which oh, favorite? the uh, peated. They have a peated oh, yeah. cask one. The scotch finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scotch. Sorry. <laughs> scotch like, finish. Yes. That's that right. is pretty, pretty good. I mm-hmm. figured that she would like it. <laughs> it took me through the end part of winter. I still have, my, I got a second bottle. <laughs> Just so I have it. <laughs> Okay. All right, we got cocktails coming up. Yeah. All right, cocktail. It's cocktail. It's cocktail time. It's cocktail. It's cocktail time. It's cocktail. It's cocktail time. It's cocktail. Hey. Today is actually a versus. Yes. So we have the same cocktail, just two variations of it. Mm-hmm. It's called the blinker. The blinker. Yeah. I'm not going to judge the name. Blinking. <laughs> uh, blinker. I'm not going to judge the name. Apparently, it was made up in 1934, so maybe they just thought that was cute. <laughs> maybe the know. color? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. So, this recipe over here on this side is the variation. It comes from the Bourbon Bartending book. You know, that's the one I have. I've used a couple recipes from them. Might still use some in the future. Might. Might. (laughs) (laughs) Over here, we have one and a half ounces of whiskey, quarter ounce of the raspberry syrup, one ounce of grapefruit juice. Shake it on up. And just so you know, the original recipes or both recipes call for rye, but we're using the pork cast because that's what I did. Yeah. So that's what it is. So on this side, it's the recipe's from thekitchen.com. Yes. And it's close to the original recipe as can be. Two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of grapefruit, and a teaspoon of a grenadine. Yes. I garnish with a wheel. Cool. Uh, I will start with the grapefruit. So normally, you know, we're all about, oh, make it yourself, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I usually make grenadine, but you know, life be life in. Yeah, she did in one of the episodes. And so, yeah, in a previous episode, I made Mm -hmm. some grenadine. It's pretty easy to make. Butter, uh, not today. So there's, (laughs) (laughs) so we got store-bought, you know what I'm saying? Store-bought. Do what you can. It is. Do it. Do it. Enjoy it. Right. That's the most important thing. Enjoy every bit of it. Exactly. We was going to make it work. I'll actually take that from you. Alright. Yeah, hold it from the bottom. The bottle's actually really wide for my little bit of hand. <laughs> and I ain't trying to waste it. That would be just wrong. wrong. Right. I would be so sad because. Finding the tawny cord up here, hard. It is gone. So I caught it while I could, because as soon as I bought it, it was sold out. <laughs> the next time I looked, yeah. I ain't got time for that. You like it, make sure you get enough of it. Exactly. Or at least get one, child. Don't yeah. hesitate, because you'd be like, I'm going to come back, and then it would be gone. Then you'd be sad. <laughs> Figure this out of my right? head and come back. No, don't do that to you. Exactly. So. I've done that a few times. And be sad and be every time. Sad. All right, so we go to shake it up. <laughs> That's still chill. <laughs> okay. I was getting into Feels it. getting carried away. Yeah. Pretty color, I say. Let's it see. is. Going it's gonna be a nice attack. rosy color. Hmm. I guess grapefruit is pinky. Yeah. So on the lawn. Watch the uh, pool boy clean out the. Oh, she got rich Wahite lady dreams. <laughs> that I was said, oh, boy, clean the pool cat. What is that? I guess it's getting hot in here. Oh, right? okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right, we're going to switch.
switch on over. You got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. All right. So where are we going? Which one are we doing first? So just off rip from the color change. Obviously, the one with the grandine is a little it's more be, bright yeah, and a deeper red. Okay. Um. I guess we'll start with the original, close to the original recipe. All right. See, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It actually yeah. brings out the oak. Oh, you suppose the lemon expression. It says garnish with it. Garnish, but, yeah. Know, lemon oil. We got this. It helps. Yeah. There we go. I was going to say... This one, it actually brings out the oak more in the whiskey to me. Mm -hmm. Do you taste the oak more? Two ounces. Yeah. Hmm. It okay. is okay. All right. That's the original or close to it. Try the other one. Mm hmm. The other one is sweeter. It raspberry is raspberry syrup. Just only a little bit. And the raspberry syrup adds a, a fruit note mm -hmm. that I actually do like. Oh, that's oaky. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I like the variation. Mm -hmm. So, if you all are willing to try these, let us know. Leave a comment. Talk to us. I talk back. <laughs> I she do. She does. Shout out to Sisters Who Kill. They say that a lot, too. <laughs> I've been binge watching. Yeah, I've been listening. Talk to us. We talk, talk back. Yes. Sisters Who I Kill. I do talk back, child. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers.